Hello, we are FTC Team 7105, and in this video, we will be discussing how to make the engineering section of the FTC Engineering Notebook. The engineering section is one of the required journal sections. You must have this section in your journal to win awards. In this video, we will talk about all the information you must include in the engineering section. First of all, the engineering section must contain two things your meeting entries, and your coding development. First, we will talk about the meeting entries. Every time your team meets, you need to record what you did in a meeting entry. Every meeting entry needs to include the date, the time the meeting started, and the time the meeting stopped, the work notes, and the initials of whoever wrote the entry. Your work notes should explain in detail what you did in the meeting, as well as why you did it, why it did or didn't work, why you think that it did or didn't work, and what you plan to do next. Your entries should also include lots of pictures, sketches, and math. Take pictures and make sketches of everything. It's important to show your design process with visuals and not just words. You should have math for both your engineering and your programming. Some common engineering calculations you could include are gear ratios and any measurements that you do to plan the layout of your robot. If your team does CAD, you should include your CAD. CAD is like sketches in that it shows you planned out your robot before you built it. There are several rules that you need to follow when making your entries. When you start a new entry, it should either start on a new page or be separated from the previous entry by a line so that the judges can see where each entry begins and ends. If you write your entries out by hand, you have to write them in pen. And if you glue pictures into your journal, then you need to outline them against the paper with a pen. And also, write your team number on the back of the picture. This is just in case it falls out. Then the judges can see that there was supposed to be a picture there, and if they find the picture, then they know who it belongs to. Also, if you're writing your entries and make an error or find an error in one of your entries after you print them, cross out the error with a single line in pen, and write down the date you made the correction and the initials of whoever wrote the entry. And just as a general tip, always write entries the day of the meeting. Even if you procrastinate only to the next day, you will have forgotten a lot of what happened, and then the entry won't be as detailed. Also, try to have everyone write entries. The judges want to see that everyone participates. Besides meeting entries, your engineering section should also record your coding process and development. A lot of teams separate the programming from the engineering and put it into its own section. But that's up to your personal preference. There are many different ways to record the coding development. One way to do it is to have meeting entries. Then also separate programming entries that use the same format as the meeting entries, except they only record the programming process and not engineering. Another way is to have a timeline to show each different step in your programming process. Yet another way is to have a page or paragraph dedicated to each of your programs, describing what each program does and why you made them the way you did. However you decide to do it, when recording and coding development, focus on describing the process. Write about what you tried, why it did or didn't work, and then what you tried next. Also, programming includes a lot of math, so be sure to include that even if it's not super complex. A lot of teams include some of their programs in their programming section, but you don't have to if you don't want to, and you don't have to include all of them. If you do include your programs, though, you should also write annotations describing what the program does at different points in the program. There are two ways you can do the annotations. You can either write them directly into the code, or write them into the margins of the code. The example on the right is from our team three years ago. It has the annotations written in the margins of the code. The example on the left has the annotations written directly into the code. So that's how to meet the requirements for the engineering section of the journal. You can also include extra information in your engineering section to make it more creative and interesting if you like. The content discussed in this video is just the bare minimum of things your engineering section could contain. Thank you for watching this video. To learn about the other required sections of the Engineering Journal, please be sure to check out our other videos.